Okay, so as most of you are aware, I've been saving up for my new PC for quite some time now. Um, as the PC that I've got, the gaming PC that I've got is is kind of not very good. Uh, the graphics card is like a GTX 3 something, so it's not um, not the best. I can't really play games very well. Um, for example, I've been playing Planet Side 2, the closed beta recently, and I can't really play that because even on the lowest settings, I still only get like 30 FPS, and that's without being in 1080p. It has to be in a windowed less than 720p. Um, so yeah, I'll be... Well, I'm getting a new PC. Uh, I have over the amount of money I need now, and I'm probably going to properly order it next Friday. I have put the order in already, but it's on like a, a pending order, and it's just sitting in the cart on my account. Um just in case I need to change anything. And uh, I'm just going to wait until next Friday, just so I've got a little bit of extra money in my bank. So I don't I don't want to have zero pounds in my bank when I when I finish buying it, just in case I need to, like, you know, buy real life stuff. But I thought I'd do a quick video just to go over some of the things that I'm getting in this new PC. Um, now, last time I did this, I kind of over-exaggerated a lot of the things. I was just clicking on the, the best stuff. I've narrowed it down to things that I feel I would benefit from. Um, so some of the things I've dropped, and I know some people will be like, oh, why don't you get this? It's going to be a lot better. Um, it's just that at the moment, I don't see the need for it. And there's other reasons, like I already have something like that that I can use. But anyway, let's uh, go through this system. So the price of this is now £1,168. Um, I think it's actually, I think they ha they're actually doing like a summer sale because the prices have gone down a lot. Um, the last video that I did showing off the things that I wanted was, I think it was like £1,300, something like that. So it's a bit pretty big difference in price, but it doesn't sacrifice too much. So um, the CPU that I'm going for is the Intel i7-3770. Um, it's not the 3770, 3770K because I'm not planning on overclocking, so yeah, I don't do any of the overclocking stuff, I just run at stock speeds. Um, so I'm going with the with the Intel i7-3770, which is pretty good. I hope you can see the screen. Um, I am planning on uploading this in 1080p, if I can remember how to do that. So hopefully you can see all the writing and stuff. Now the CPU caller... Um, last time I said that I was going to go with the water cooling system, but as it stands at the moment, I really don't see the need to, um, because I am not one of them people that run their system on ultra settings, like if I'm playing a game, I don't throw it all up on the top settings. I like just to sit at default settings, so I'm not really going to be pushing this computer that much, um, straight away at least anyway, uh, so I don't see the need for the water calling straight off the bat. So the one that I'm going to go for is the Zim Zigmatic Prime SD1484, whatever that says. It's just a, a mounted fan that goes on there, whatever it goes on, heat single, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, probably not as, as good as the water calling, but it's going to do me for now, to be honest. Um, and I'll probably install a water caller when I feel like I should, or when I feel like everything is getting too overheated or something. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the CPU cooler I'm going with straight away. Plus there's the fans that are in the case, which you'll get to in a bit. Um, operating system, Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit. The motherboard is going to be the Asus Sabertooth Z77, which from what I can tell is a pretty good motherboard. Um, that's the one that people have been telling me to get, so... That's the one that I'm going to get. So that's pretty cool. Um, for the RAM, I'm going to go with the 8 gigabyte Corsair uh, 100, no, 1600 megahertz or whatever that is, MHZ uh, Vengeance, which is two sticks of 4 gigabyte RAM. Um, I was going to go with the 16 gigabyte, but I have another. This computer has four. Um, 4GB in the door that I'm using, so if I needed to, I could just transfer that over. 
Um, I think they're actually the same type as well. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But I don't think RAM's that expensive anyway, so it doesn't matter. But 8 gigabytes more than enough, I, I believe. I'm just going off what people have told me, and most people say that 8 gigabyte is enough. You're not going to need much more than that. Now the hard drives, um, off the like off the website, I'm actually not going to buy the SSD because my friend has an SSD, a spare SSD, because he brought two for some odd reason. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's 80 gigabyte or 60 SSD that he's got. Um, I don't think it's the 120 gigabyte one. It's about. I think it's about 60. Yeah, there's a 60 gigabyte one here. So I'm presuming that there's not an 81. It's probably he's probably got the 60 gigabyte, but he said I can have that um, when I get all my PC set up. So you know that just saves me a little bit more money. I know that it's not much money because from I can I can buy a 60 gigabyte one here for six pound more than the hard drive that I'm going with. Um, but you know it's just it's not much money to save, but it is saving a little bit of money. Um, so straight away from the web store, I'm not going to have an SSD boot drive, but I will eventually when uh, when my friend gives me one. Um, if I'm nice to him, that is. <laughs> so the one I'm going for is that uh, I'm going for the 500 gigabyte just for like the starting thing. Um, this is going to be the one that all my thing, all my boot up things, going to be running off until I get an SSD, um, and then after that, I don't know what I use it for. I probably just use it for storing games or something um, and then the second hard drive that I'll be going with is a one terabyte one and that'll be for like recording and all that stuff and I could probably take the hard drive I've got out of this computer because there's two in here one of them's 500 well both of them are 500 gigabyte so I could probably take the second one out and then install that if I needed to so so that's that um, off the website I won't be having a SSD but like I said I'll be getting a 60 gigabyte one um, if my friend actually lets me. Um, Optical Drive, just going to stick with the default normal one. Really don't want a uh, Blu-ray drive because I don't play, uh, I don't watch Blu-ray DVDs and stuff on my PC. I've got my other TV for that um, and a Blu-ray player. So I'll just be sticking with the normal DVD thing. Uh, the graphics card, I'm going with the GTX 670, um, which is a 2 gigabyte graphics card. And I'm pretty sure it's a pretty good graphics card. From all the videos and all the all the reviews and stuff that I've found on this, um, and all the benchmarking and all that, it seems to be an extremely good graphics card. Um, it's not far off the 680. I was going to go with the 680, but I just, I don't know, I just decided to go with the... Uh, 670 instead the reviews are pretty much the same for them um, and this is a better price this is a price I can kind of be happy with spending the 680 if I, if I choose that it shoots up by another £100 so uh, yeah I'll be going with the 670 but from um, I watched a few reviews and benchmarking things one of them was on Skyrim and the dude was running Skyrim at 1080p uh, ultra settings and he was getting just over 100 FPS, so it's a pretty good graphics card, um, so I'll be happy with that. It's a huge improvement to the one that I've got now, um, plus these are the new generation NVIDIA cards. Um, obviously this one's replacing the 570, uh, 680 is replacing the 6, I mean the 580, so you know, they're just all upgraded. Um, sound card, I might just stick with the onboard. Uh, on, uh, on board audio, the one that comes with the motherboard. I have speakers, but they're not. They're not like a 7.1 or 5.1. They're base, They're just normal 2.1 uh, speakers. Nothing too fancy. I don't particularly use speakers. I'm more of a headphone kind of person. Um, so I don't really need a sound card at the moment. But because this computer is going to be like a custom built one. Um, kind of I'll be able to if I, if, I, if I wanted to change my speaker setup and get like a proper surround sound system it's I could easily just buy a buy a proper sound card and get better audio so you know um, 
onboard 7.1 surround sound or onboard 7.1 audio is not too bad um i just like using headphones <laughs> so that won't bother me too much um now this is the thing that confuses me the internet thing because this computer at the moment doesn't have wireless um built into it i have to use one of them dongle things like you've got here um but i want one of these built-in ones because i think that'll be better maybe um there's two different ones here though i don't know which is better i'm not sure if you can see these so i'll just click on that probably zoom in when i'm editing it um so you can look at the specs for it so that's the first one the interface is pci dash e which i think is pci express um transfer rate is 150 mbps but this one supports dip more security it supports wpa wpa2 w no wep and wps and then the second one only does wpa and wpa2 i have no idea what that means but this one's got a better, a better transfer rate so i'll probably just go for this one this is a dual antenna one i don't know but one of them will be the one that i'll get that's fine I'll also be getting one of the flash drives off this website, probably like a four gigabyte one, something something small, just so I can transfer the important files off this computer to the new computer when I get it. Um, I'm not gonna get any keyboards and mouse. Um, I will be getting a mechanical keyboard soon though because this Razer Lecaso that I've got um, is just one of the normal membrane ones or whatever it's called. Um, but I have trouble. I have trouble with this keyboard, and it's a shame because this is a nice keyboard. But a lot of people have this same problem, where um, sometimes the key just won't work. Um, and if I'm playing Minecraft and that happens, and the key just stops working, say if it's the W key, my character just continue to walk forward unless until I unplug my keyboard and plug it back in. So uh, that's kind of <laughs> it's kind of dangerous. Um, so hopefully I can get a me mechanical keyboard soon. Like this one, the Corsair uh, Vengeance K60. I've heard that that's a very good keyboard, so I might end up getting that. It's £83. It's not too bad, I suppose. Um, and now the case is this one. Uh, what's it called? Zalman Z9 Plus. It's the same as a uh, Pause and Pauses one. Um, it's a pretty good one. It's got like a, a little thermostat thing on it. Temperature display, that's the one. Um, cooling system it's got one two three four fans on it which i'm pretty sure is good i think the one that i've got now has got two <laughs> so um it's going to be pretty cool it's got fan control on it as well um expansion slot seven i think that's for hard drives if i'm not mistaken so i'll be happy with that it does support the ssd when i get one um Tool free HDD installation with anti vibration rubber, it's very nice. Um, black interior coating, so it's just a very nice, uh, very nice case. And then you can see the image of it if you haven't seen pause and pauses already. This is basically what it looks like, so that's pretty cool. Uh, looking forward to having a look at that when it comes. Um, oh, and this is another thing I'm, I'm kind of worried about. Um, I'm, I've clicked on the 650 watt Corsair TX modular power supply, um, but will that be enough for what I'm getting? So if you just go back over the video and check all the specs and stuff that I've clicked on, will this be enough? Will the 650 watt Corsair TX modular be enough for all that? Um, it supports it supports uh, SLI a five-year warranty I mean I'm presuming it supports that because these three top ones here they've been grayed out so I'm presuming they're the ones that might the system that I've clicked on won't support um, if worse comes to worse and I need a 700 watt one there's actually one here that's cheaper it's 11 pound cheaper um, but it doesn't look as good this one looks more professional well it's mainly because of the name I presume um, 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind going up to the 850 watt one. But just let me know if the 650 watt is enough for what I'm getting. Um, and obviously we've got a three year warranty that comes with it, which is very nice. And I can choose to have it dispatched straight away. Um, but the normal turnaround for a PC is one to two weeks. Which is fine. Um, and then that comes to £1,168, which is pretty cheap. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions about it, let me know. Uh, if you've got any things that you think I really need, then let me know. Um, but like I said, the hard drive, I'm not going to get an SSD off the website because I can have one off my friend. Um, water cooling, I'm not too fussed about at the moment. I don't see the need because I'm not going to be pushing my PC to the limits because I'm not one of them people. Uh, but yeah, all in all, I think that's going to be a pretty nice system. Um, should not should last me quite a while, a few years at least. And because it's a custom one, I can add things when I need to. Um, the one that I've got at the moment is one of them uh, Acer Predator ones. Um, I got it from PC World, so that, that it's not necessarily customizable because the case is kind of... I don't know, it's, it looked like it was moulded on after everything was put in. There's no screws to take it off, there's no side panels. Uh, it looks like you have to take the whole thing apart to <laughs> upgrade it. But, yeah, so the PC will be here in about two, three weeks, probably, um, if I order it next week. I'm most likely going to get one of the priority things, so it comes within two to three days down here, which is pretty nice. Uh, it's £40 extra. If you look in the grand scheme of things, I'm already spending 1168 so it doesn't really matter another £40, does it? I suppose. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. If you've got any questions, like I said, let me know. Um, and when I get the PC, I'll do like a setup type video, because everyone keeps asking me to do that. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time.